everything I ate in Japan in the bullet trains. Once I learned that I was allowed to eat in bullet trains, I took advantage of it. Most of the food we got were from spots inside the train stations. So when we traveled from Tokyo to Sendai, we didn't really eat much since we had just had dinner. So I had corn soup and hot hojicha tea from the vending machines. This is what started my corn soup obsession during the trip. I had a lot of these. Doug had grape juice and rice crackers from Muji. The grape juice was yum and the rice cracker had good flavor but was kind of tough to chew. As we were leaving Sendai to go back to Tokyo, we found a mochi stand. We grabbed flavors like melon, cheese, and cotton candy. The cheese one was my favorite and the rest were kind of meh. I was not a fan of cotton candy but Doug loved it. Thankfully, we stocked up on Zunda Mochi, which is a Sendai specialty. It's sweet edamame paste stuffed into mochi, and this is my new favorite. I cannot stop raving about these. The bullet train from Tokyo to Kyoto takes 2 hours and 40 minutes, so I needed a full bento meal and other snacks. Before we hopped on, Doug and I grabbed sushi bentos, hot teas from the vending machine, and some more Zunda that I found at a tiny stall in the train station. This time, it was in the form of dango. As much as I loved it, I had to share it with Doug's brother and our friend. Just one stick is super filling. Kyoto to Osaka is a very short train ride and this day happened to be a day where you eat a whole sushi roll called ehomaki. It's supposed to give you good luck for the year if you eat a whole one by yourself. We're not taking any chances so I got one for each of us. And of course we washed it down with a couple of hot teas from the vending machine. So convenient. From Osaka, we hopped over to Hiroshima, and a friend of mine said that Japan Starbucks had one of the best matcha lattes they've ever had. I had to try it, and I couldn't resist the beautiful matcha donut staring at me in the display case. The matcha latte was indeed delicious, and the matcha donut was pretty dang good too. I was pleasantly surprised to find the matcha cream filling in the middle. And of course, we have another couple of bentos for lunch, seafood again. I'm taking advantage of being able to eat seafood in a public area. Doug's bento had retractable chopsticks. I don't know why I didn't get one. And then my bento had this random gray stuff and I didn't know what it was, but after tasting it, it was crab fat. So good. Then Doug's brother gave us a pancake sandwich from 7-Eleven stuffed with maple cream. It was pretty tasty, but it got too sweet after a few bites. We didn't eat anything from Hiroshima to Osaka, so our last bullet train meal was from Osaka to Tokyo Airport. I did not realize that every bento I got had ikura in it until I put this video together. But this one had smoked salmon in it. I wasn't a fan. I like the fresh salmon bentos better. And this baked sweet potato looks simple, but I got it from a shop that sold only cooked sweet potatoes. The server told me that this variant was the best and he wasn't kidding. It was so sweet and the texture was soft but not too mushy. And that was everything we ate on the bullet trains in Japan. Out of everything we had, which meal would you have brought onto your bullet train ride?